Hi, I'm Paul from Production Expert. Now today I'm going to be looking at the Helix application that you can download from Line 6 that runs with the Helix hardware, the guitar processor. So as you can see, I've programmed up a couple of sounds here and I'm just going to go through some of the sounds that I've created and just show you how you can move the different modules about. Okay, if we come over here, you'll see this module called A plus C, which stands for Amp plus Cab. And you'll see I've loaded an Amp uh, US double norm, which I guess is line six's interpretation of a Fender Twin. Now that's basically my amplifier. So I've got all my controls here. Now this is very different to what's on the front of the Helix. On the front of the Helix, it's very much like a guitar amplifier where you've got your, your knobs for drive, bass, mid, treble, presence, etc. So here it's more like a plug-in application, and I really like the way it works and the way it sounds as well. So, here's my basic sound, which is basically just a clean sound. And so let's go through first how you'll use the actual application. So presets are the presets that come with the Helix, and also some of the sounds that you might create yourself. And impulses are where you can load in various impulses that other people might have created of various guitar cabinets. So as I haven't got any impulses for this, I'm just going to be using basically what comes with the Helix as you buy it. Okay, what we can do first of all, if I click on guitar over here, I can choose all the different inputs. So on the guitar, we've got multi, so we can choose between guitar, auxiliary and variax. Now I'm just going to be using guitar here because I haven't got a variax and I'm not using any of the auxes as well. So let's just keep it on guitar. Now one of the interesting things here is we can change the input impedance. So you can take it from uh, auto all the way up to there. And you'll get various different sort of sounds as well. So if I change it a bit. Now I'm just gonna leave it on auto because personally, I haven't got a clue what impedance this guitar is. So I let the Helix work that out for me. So we've got an input gate, we've got like a noise gate. As you can see, it's very clean. There's no noise whatsoever. So I'm going to leave that off for the moment, but I guess if you were using more high, high gain settings, then you might want to switch that on. So the next things we've got are all these different modules up here. Now we can change the order of these modules just by dragging them about. If I click here, I can choose all of the different modules. To say that I wanted a filter saved just before the amplifier there, because I've got everything else switched off, I can bring that in. Just double click here. And I can obviously change the different types of filters here. So we can change all the different sounds we want there. And if I want to say put a distortion before there, I could choose a mono distortion and I'm going to choose top secret OD. I've got to say, the overdrives on here, I've gone through all of them, and they, they do sound absolutely brilliant. So as I've said, we can move all of these modules about wherever I want. So I can change, for instance, if I want my guitar cab and my guitar amplifier, the first in the chain, I can do that. But let's move it back to where it was. Now, let's switch on the dynamics here. And as you can see, if I hover over it, it comes up with red squeeze. So if I click on that, you can choose all these different types of dynamics. So I've got my noise gates and I've got my LA Studio Compressor, which is just like an LA 2A. Red squeeze, which I think sounds brilliant. And Deluxe Comp. which also sounds great, but I think Red Squeeze just does it for me. It's got a real 80s zing to it. All right, let's switch on some of the effects that I'll come up with. Absolutely brilliant. Let's try the modulation. 
And let's switch off distortion. And see the different modulation types I've got. But I can go through all the different types here. We've got 70s chorus. If I take down my mix there a bit, just to clean it up a bit. So let's go over to the amps here, and I can choose all my different amplifier types. Let's try the vibrato. Okay, let's scroll down and choose a couple more. So this one's Doom, which is one of the high gain amps. <laughs> This fatality. Let's try some of the more standard amps. So this is line six take on, I guess, an AC-15. Really great. And down here, I can change, you see that flip round there, I can change the type of speaker cabinet. So for instance, I can go from anything from a, an eight inch, small tweed. And I can click down here and go some of the bass stuff down here, but let's, uh, oh, let's try the four by 12 greenbacks there. So there's plenty of way of shaping all of your different sounds. You've got so much variation. And the reverbs, let's have a look at them. So we've got plate, room, chamber, hall, echo, tile, cave, ducking. Octo, 63 spring, spring, and particle verb. Let's try particle verb. That's amazing. So I think for that, that's worth the price of the unit on its own. That's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love that. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Now the springs are excellent too. Turn the mix up. So that's like a modern spring, but let's try like an old spring. I think the quality of the effects on this thing are absolutely brilliant. So I've got an Avid 11 rack and I've been really pleased with it. It's well, it's one of those things, I know a lot of guitar players absolutely hate them, but if you know how to use it, you can get some amazing sounds out of it. But this thing just takes it to the next level. The sounds and the quality of the effects have just pushed it on. I mean, I guess the 11 racks probably, it's got to be getting on for 10 years now. And you can really hear the difference in the clarity of the Helix compared to the 11 rack. <laughs> So last of all, we've got this section here, Looper. 
So what I'm going to do in the next video is to go through that in depth and I'm really going to get into how we use that actually with the Helix Control which is the pedal board. So I'm Paul from Production Expert, hope you enjoyed the video, hopefully this has given you a bit more insight into the Helix application and join me next time where I'll be going into how to use the looper.